T minus seven minutes and counting. And we have retraction of the orbiter access arm, beginning to move the back first uh, away from the orbiter and then to swing away. This was the walkway attached to the service structure and used by the crew to walk to the orbiter. The crew has been advised uh, to lower their helmet visors. Very slow movement by the orbiter access arm. T minus six minutes, 29 seconds, and counting. Crew an APU pre-start. Come on. The crew is beginning the APU pre-start. Uh, this the start begins at the five minute point in the countdown. T minus six minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. The APUs are turbine devices fueled by hydrazine, which provides hydraulic power to change the angle of the engines and the flight surfaces on the orbiter. T minus five minutes, 59 seconds, and counting. Pilot uh, Bob Crippen had begun that APU pre-start, no, which right uh, on started on. about 48 seconds from now. Uh, DC, the the development of flight instrumentation, which measures the stresses on the orbiter during flight, have been turned on, and recorders uh, uh, store information for playback after landing. 5 minutes and 30 seconds, Mark. Roger, and transmitting it. Mark. And uh, uh, Bob 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 pilot Bob Crippen has signified All the auxiliary power units are ready to be started. Flight to your stored program command. T-minus five minutes, 15 Market. seconds, and counting. Coming up on the five-minute point, four, three, two, one, mark. T-minus five minutes, and counting. We have a goal for APU start. APU starts and work. And, APU start is in work. Uh, this is the start sequence. The final chase plane has taken off from Patrick Air Force Base. T minus four minutes, 42 seconds, and counting. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. Go ahead. Once we get the APU start, we have a total of 12 minutes of hydrazine supply for running the APUs prior to a liftoff. Everything going very smoothly in this count. The APU start is complete. T minus four minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. As preparation for main engine ignition, the main fuel valve heaters have been turned off. T minus three minutes, 57 seconds and counting. The final helium purge on the shuttle main engine has been started in preparation for engine start. The liquid oxygen replenish system has been turned off in preparation for pressurization of the tanks uh, for the launch. T minus three minutes, 35 seconds and counting. The Elevon speed brake and rudder are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to assure that they'll be ready for use in flight. T minus three minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuels from the ground support system for one more additional minute. Coming up on T-minus three minutes, T-minus three minutes, and counting. The engine gimbal, our movement check is underway to assure they're ready for flight control. T-minus two minutes, 52 seconds, the LOX valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization has begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited to three minutes, 36 seconds. T-minus two minutes, 40 seconds, and counting. The The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated and the vehicle is using its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 25 seconds and counting. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The pressure in the LOX tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on just two minutes away from launch. 
T minus two minutes, mark and two, counting. Figure for launch, for lift off. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed two, and three, flight five. pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 50 uh, seconds DC, and counting. DLT, we're figure for lift off. Chuck Hannon has just said okay, with you guys smooth later. sailing, baby, to oh, yeah, astronauts yeah. John Young and Bob Crippen. T minus one minute, 35 seconds and counting. T-minus one minute, 20 seconds, and counting. We can see the purges of the main engines uh, as we prepare for ignition. T-minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on T-minus one minute. T-minus one minute, marked and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Columbia on a nice ride. You're lofting a little bit. Uh, you'll probably be slightly high at staging. One minute, 45 seconds coming up on go, no, go. Columbia, your negative seats. Uh, that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Mark. Columbia, your go for SRB set. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRB set confirmation. <laughs> Roger on the set, Columbia. Mark, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster set. Check out for this year. Mark, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds. On, gui on board guidance is converging this program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark, 2 minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark, uh, 2 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. Columbia, Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. 
Columbia now has two engine Aurora capabilities. Roger. Three minutes. Young and Crip and Rayleigh moving out now. Velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 15 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds. Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles downrange. 